Hi everyone. In last video, we studied about CSS and its type, and we have also studied about CSS selector. So in this video, we will be studying about CSS selector types. Now we already know that CSS selector is used to point the HTML element that we design. So CSS selector selects the HTML element according to its ID, name, class, attribute, etc. So now there are different types of CSS selector. So they are as follows: CSS element selector, CSS ID selector, CSS class selector, CSS universal selector, and CSS groups. Now we will study about each CSS selector with basic examples. So let us open the editor and save it. I have already saved. The file with the name example dot html. So let us give the title CSS selector. So now we are studying about the CSS element selector. So element selector selects the so the element selector selects the HTML element by its name. So let us display hello world. and we will also display this is an example of css element select now here the name of the element is p and h1 now i want to design hello world so i will design the hello world using the name p so let us go to the head section as the designing part is done inside the head section using the style tag okay so now we will use the name p and we will start designing our hello world so now i want hello world to be center aligned so here i am using the property text align and value is center now i want it to be red and i want its font size to be increased by 40 pixel so now our designing part is done let us save this code and run okay so let us run it with internet explorer you guys see hello world is center aligned its uh, font size is increased by 40 pixel and it is in red color so this was the basic example of the element selector now moving to the next example which is id selector so what is id selector id selector selects the attribute of an html element to select a specific element always remember the id should always be unique within a page so it is chosen to select a single unique element and id is always written with the hash character followed by the id of the element so let us see an basic example let us modify this code now let's say i want to display hello world and i also want to display this is an example of css id select okay now i only want to design hello world but you guys see the hello world and this is an example of css id selector they are using the same element name that is p but i only want to design hello world so in this condition we will give this hello world a unique id always remember the id name should always be unique so let's say i am giving the id name para1 so now we will design the hello world using the id name para1 now let us start designing as i said the id name should always start with the hash character and then followed by the id name so hash para1 now again i want hello world 
to be center aligned i want its color to be red and font size to be increased by 40 pixel so now we have designed our hello world let us save the code let me delete the previous outputs so you guys will not be getting confused okay so now let us save this code and run the file again open it with internet explorer okay see hello world is center aligned it is in red color and we have increased uh, this font size by 40 pixel so this was an example of the css id selector moving to the next type of selector that is css class selector so the class selector selects the html element with a specific class attribute and always remember it is used used with a period character which means full stop symbol and then followed by the class name now the point to remember is the class name should not start with number now let us take the basic example of css class selector we will edit the, this code again now this time i want to display hello world and i will also display this is an example of css class selector okay. now i want to design the hello world but they both are using the same tag so now let us give this hello world a class name so class is equal to suppose i am giving the class name center now as i said the class selector selects the html element with a specific class attribute so here we have given the class name center and it is used with a period character so let us use this center so dot center as i said it uses the period character so dot center and again we will start designing our hello world so let's say i want it to be center aligned i want its color to be red i want its font size to be increased by 40 pixel so here we have given hello world the class hello world class name as center and we have designed this hello world using the class name in the head section so now let us save this code and let's see what is the output i will delete the previous output go back to our desktop and run the file using internet explorer okay see hello world is in center its font size is increased by 40 pixel and the color is red so this was an example of css class selector moving to the next type of selector that is the universal select so universal selector is used with a wild card character and it selects all the element of the page so we will see the universal selector with the example we will modify this code again so let's say i want to display hello world and i also want to display this is an example of css universal selector okay now let us go to the head part and start designing so as i said it will select all the element written in the body part so let us start designing it as i said it starts with the wild card character so it starts with the star and again 
let's say I want the content to be center aligned. I want its color to be red and font size to be increased by 40 percent. So let us save this code. Let us delete the previous output first. Let us save this code and run the file again. You guys see now both the lines are in center they are in red color and the font size is increased by the 40 pixel so you see we have not used any id name we have not given any class attribute we have just used the wildcard character so it selects the each and every element written in the body part so this was an example of universal selector moving to the last type of selector that is CSS group selector. The, now the grouping selector is used to select all the elements with the same style definitions. Now grouping selector it is used to minimize the code because the content written in the body tag you are designing them all in a single group and the comma is used to separate each select each selector in the group. So let us see the example of the group selector okay so let us modify this code now since this is a grouping selector so we will use all this selector at once and text align center the color to be red and font size to be increased by 40 pixels so now this set of design will be applicable to hello world as well and it will be applicable to this is an example of CSS universal as well. So let us save this code first. Let me delete the previous output. Okay. Now we have saved our code. Let us go back to desktop and run the code again. You see, the same set of design is applied to hello world and this is an example of CSS universal selector. So, same set of design is applied to both the lines. So, this was an example of CSS group selector. So, these were the five uh, basic types of uh, selectors. I hope you guys have, guys have now understand the selector types. Thank you.